Hi guys, welcome to another video by Antiques Arena. My name is Walter O'Neill. In this video I'm going to show you how to repair silver and silver plate cutlery. Now, I always buy cutlery. Um, a lot of the time it has the solid silver handles. Um, whether it's knives, forks, spoons, serving sets, it doesn't matter. More often than not you'll have a big gap down the uh, side of the blade here and the blade seems to have moved back giving you sort of well, an ugly um, filler sort of look coming out uh, between the handle and the blade. Now I'm going to show you in this film how to reset the handle, close the gap without doing any damage, without forcing the piece. Um, then of course you can sell it on as a perfect example. So I'll give you a little close up now showing you the um, what I mean and you can watch how I, uh, I heat them up, repair them, cool them down and I'll show you the finished product. As you can see here guys, the, all the filler and glue and whatever they use to seal the handle to the blade it's coming out and it's separated. So I'm going to show you now how to reset this. Okay guys, so we have the piece we want to repair. We have a pot of boiling water on the stove. I have a jug of freezing cold water here, a towel and an oven glove. Um, I suggest you don't use saucepans or dishes that you're going to use for cooking. Um, I wouldn't like to think washing some of this stuff and some of it's going to have been in there for 50 to 100 years. You don't want that going into a saucepan you cook with. So, keep a hold of the piece you want to fix. Put the handle into the water. It won't take long. What you're doing is the heat of the water is melting the glue. But it's not going to damage the silver or silver plate depending on what you have. It's going to take a little bit of time. Obviously depending on the size of the item. What we have here is a large serving uh, set, so the handle is very large. And that, a small knife would be a lot easier to melt. We get in there though, it is starting to have some movement. And you have to forgive my uh, Homer Simpson uh, serving set, it was a friend, a friend of mine. She bought it for me for Christmas. <laughs> You've met her. Pain in the backside. We're getting something nice. I would say to you, you could just put them down and come back in a minute, but that's no good because once this filler turns to liquid, it'll all just start running out the handle. You want to catch it at the right time. And you can see it's started uh, running out now where I've heated it up and moved it across. So still not quite fully closed. But it's close. It's close enough. So I'll dip that now in the cold to reset it. I'm happy enough 
I've pushed it on more than enough. I have an old knife around here I use for trimming this type of thing. See that's stone cold now. So now all the excess that come out, trim off. It'll need clean and tidy. However. You can see it is closed um, and no more pieces coming out. It is really that simple guys to um, repair the handles on your cutlery. Um, I'll have a good look at that now once I've cleaned it all up. Cut off the excess now with the blade. Um, give it a little clean with silver. Um, I don't use the wadding, um, that scratches your silver. I'll show you um, another day how to clean silver safely, um, but what I use is a paste. Um, it's a cream with a sponge. I do not use the wadding, it scratches the hell out of the silver. Um, once I've cleaned it up, I'll get all the excess that will run out now of that sort of filler glue. Um, and if I feel it needs to be tightened up just a bit more, I'll repeat the process. Um, you can turn that entire handle into liquid, hold it together and put it in cold water if you want to. You can reset it. The hot water and the heat turns that filler stuff in the handles soft into liquid so you can adjust it or close it, whatever you need. It really is that simple. As you saw, it took a few minutes. Um, to reset the handle, trim it up, give it a clean, use gloves guys, you will burn your hands and as I said, don't use anything you're going to eat out of um, or you will probably end up making yourselves ill. But, good way of repairing your cutlery, so if you want to buy silver cutlery, um, if you want the silver off to scrap, melt the stuff out of it. Don't try peeling the silver back. If you want to repair the piece so you can sell it on without saying, oh, the handle's a bit damaged and get good money, repair it. It's that simple, guys. Um, I hope it helps. Um, if it did, I would appreciate a like and a share. Um, don't forget to subscribe. We have uh, well in excess of 100 videos now. You'll find us on eBay, Antiques Arena Clearance. You'll find us on Facebook, Antiques Arena. And we have our own website, antiquesarena.co.uk. Thanks for watching guys, bye for now.